All right, it's Haji back again. Here's a uh, here's another Photoshop tutorial from OBSPhotoSuccess.com. You know, just a uh, just gonna show you a few ways. Uh, you know, to, just to bring up your uh, you know your uh, vacation snapshots to uh, the next level. Um, you know, whenever I go out on vacation, I've always I always have my camera on me. I always have at least one camera, if not just my point and shoot. You know, a uh, my Canon or uh, uh, and a lens, but. Um, what I'm looking for is I always just at least just try to get a good capture of an image. I try to get at least all the elements that I want, good composition, um, good color tone, good exposure. Uh, you know, and if something's uh, you know, if something's just not right, well, I'll enhance it afterwards. But really, when I'm shooting stuff like this, when we're on a crap shoot, I'm just I'm just looking to get a good image, and uh, that is something that I can play with. Um, later on. Now I know when I took this, uh, I was really um. I was really impressed with this green algae that formed on the rocks, and I knew that when I got this back home, that you know I could probably bring this up and really enhance it so that it really stands out. And uh, I underexposed it a bit because I wanted to expose for the sky, and uh, I wanted to get the green in there. And I know the sun was kind of peeking through clouds every once in a while. I was giving this nice backlight right here, so I knew that when I was in Photoshop that I was going to bring this green up to another level and really get it nice and saturated, so it really stood out of the image. And I had this picture in my head, you know green pinstripe to match the color of the algae and a black mat and you know it really stand out so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here now so first thing again filter sharpen on sharp mask you should know this by now we're just gonna go 2060 alright and now I wanna bring up the foreground a bit more I do find it a bit dark so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this layer in my layers palette drag it down to duplicate it and I'm just going to change the blend mode to screen, and that's just going to lighten everything up. See, now I've got uh, a lot more in here. Now I'm just going to erase back my clouds because I still want my clouds to be the same. So I'm actually just going to go with my big eraser tool, and you know what? I'm going to do just down here just a bit. Perfect. So that actually, now you can see that that's all I have left. I've just brightened up just that part right there and if I wanted to I can always just duplicate that layer again and just keep on going you know to whatever I want you know what let's just leave it like that now I'm selected on the top layer I'm just gonna press control E just to merge down again and I'm gonna press control E again now I'm gonna do the opposite instead of brightening it up I'm gonna darken it down so I'm gonna duplicate that layer again and I'm gonna go to multiply now I got nice dark clouds but I lost all my foreground, so I'm just going to erase away my foreground. There we go, and let's just get some more detail up in here. Perfect. Just like that. So as you can see, all I've done is just darken the clouds a bit. Let's just bring that back in. 100%. Perfect. There we go. Now, a few things I can do to, um, you know, increase the green you know I can always just go into my hue saturation take green and just beef up that saturation a bit but you know what let me just see if I want to maybe change the colors a bit I'm gonna go back into my hue saturation I'm just gonna take reds and I'm going to choose the add uh, to the eyedropper actually you know what I first thing sorry let's just restart this I'm just gonna go into here choose red and I'm gonna click on the green and what this does is this shows me the level of green within this area. So I'm going all the way from a light orange all the way into the green. Well, just take these two triangles, just take these sliders and bring them in together. Now notice nothing has changed on the image. But if I take my hue and I actually increase it, at least now you can start seeing the changes in here. See the blue here? Now I'm going to add my add dropper, and I'm just going to click on all the green that's in here. And the reason you increase the hue is just so you can actually see what you are changing. So there, now you can see that I've got all the blue uh, is what is actually going to be affected. So now if I go into my hue, I can actually play with just that. So I can actually change this to whatever color I choose. But I'm going to stick with green right now. Let's just see what else we got here. You know what? Yeah, you can always make it a nice... Oh, maybe I'll play with this later. But I'm just going to take the green, and I'm actually just going to increase the hue just a bit more, just to get... It little bit more vibrant green and then I'm just going to increase the saturation up even more just like that perfect so we've gone from that to that just popping it up 
ever so lightly. Now, if I wanted to even cheat this even more, haha, <laughs> you know, I had an idea. If I wanted to get this a little bit more green, I can simply just choose my eyedropper, pick the green, take my paintbrush tool, put it on color. Now, if I go 100%, look at that. See, now I've just added more algae to my rocks. I wasn't planning on doing this, but you know what? Now that I've done it, I might just have some fun with this. And cheated even more. Perfect. Just like that. Now, now there's a few things I can do here. Um, you know, I can leave like that. But, you know, I always like to play when I'm in Photoshop. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to run my ContraSoft action on it just to see what happens. So here we are, ContraSoft, let her rip. Hey, you know what? I kind of like the way that's blurred out here. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to hit OK. But I've uh, blown out my uh, my clouds. So I'm actually going to tape the top layer. And I'm actually going to erase back my original clouds I had in here. Just like that, and the water too. There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna flatten it, and you know what? Now I'm just gonna burn down ever so lightly. Perfect. Now I notice that this hot spot I'm not really particular keen on, just because my eye keeps going to it. So I'm gonna take my magnetic lasso tool, and I'm just gonna make a selection around it. And I'm actually just gonna I'm actually just gonna clone big swath of cloud over there. And rock will do the same thing. Cheating it just a bit. There we go. All right. Now, let's uh as I still have the green that was in here, let's just take a background color of black. And let's add a pinstripe onto that. So into canvas size, let's go point zero let's go point one point one. Oops, sorry, make sure you press the X to change it to foreground background color. There we go. Now into the background color, which is gonna be black. Let's go two and two. No, let's go four and four. Four and four. Perfect, just like that. And you know what? And there you have it. I'll take that any day. So we've gone from that. Let me see if we've got that in here. We've got from that to that. Beautiful. Hope you enjoyed. Just another way to enhance what's already there. Remember, if you get good capture, good exposure, good white balance, 99% of the battle is already won.